Hello Internet! We're back on Showdown. We're going to do some more gravity games um, with this uh, pretty wonderful VGC16 team that I have created for your viewing pleasure. Now, um, we've got an interesting team here. Um, yeah, very interesting. I mean, we've got the Xerneas and Groudon, but we've got sort of like a trick room sort of mode as well with the Cresselia and the, the Mobile and everything. Um, I think... I think we're actually going to go the Landorus route this time. So we're going to have Le uh, Gengar and Landorus. Let's bring Whimsicott, which is pretty important in this game. And let's go Groudon too. Groudon's pretty good here. So hopefully we can, uh, you know, continue our, um, you know, roll with this team, I suppose. Um, if we can't, then we can't. <laughs> like I said in the first video, this team is uh, either, you know, you win the game or it all falls apart. Um... It's quite a fun team to use until you get bored of, you know, weighing up if they're going to wake up this turn or not, or playing, you know, taking risks like that. So uh, it's fun, to, fun to an extent, but um, it does win some games, and that is ultimately the uh, the main goal of playing Pokemon, isn't it, to win? <laughs> um, now this is tricky because he could protect his Groudon and go for a Trick Room or he could think his Groudon is safe and allow me to Hypnosis it not protect and go straight for a um, Precipice Blades or whatever to knock out my Gengar I think he'll protect his Groudon though because he has he is facing down a Landorus too so I'm actually going to Hypnosis the Cresselia and Gravity here Yeah, he does protect the Groudon. Nice one. And the chances of him seeing this Gravity Hypnosis play coming is very, very slim. So let's now very safely Hypnosis this Groudon. And hope the Cresselli doesn't wake up. Uh, if it does wake up and it doesn't have a Mental Herb, then I can Encore it into Trick Room as well. Yeah, nice. So I'm actually not going to play around with this Groudon. Um... Did I click the right move there? Yeah, fake tears. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm not going to mess around with this Groudon. I am just going to knock it out. Um, like I think I think I said in the first video, um, a Hex can actually one-shot Cresselia, who's asleep, um, if they're not you know, that bulky. This one probably is a bulky one because we've got a, 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 a Trick Room-looking team here. But it's actually stolen my Shadow Tag, which is quite funny. Uh, I'm going to go for a Hypnosis onto the Needer King and the Grass Whistle onto the Cresselli. We are still in gravity. Uh, I'm going for the more accurate one onto Needer King, which is the bigger threat. Uh, Whimsicott, uh, with its 91% accurate Grass Whistle in gravity, um, it's um, not going to be the end of the world if it does miss, basically. But, you know, at 91% accuracy, you would imagine that it will hit. Yeah, and it does. And there we go. Um, maybe I, I should have um, or could have anticipated the Needle King being scarfed there, um, but on a Trikumi-ish looking team, um, maybe I was right to, to not. But let's look for another game. We've got a Galvantula. That is what that's called, isn't it? Yeah, Galvantula. And a Gyarados. First time I've seen a Gyarados in, uh, in, the, uh, in the format. So hopefully this will be an intriguing game. Um, I'm going to go the Landorus route again. Gengar, Landorus. Whimsicott and I think Xerneas in this game. Surely Xerneas. Yeah, has to be Xerneas in this one. And uh, let's see how we go with this. So, you know, we're, we're getting there, we're climbing, climbing the ladder with this pretty fun team. Like I was saying at the end of the last video, um, I was a little bit cautious about playing with a team. Um, so kind of uncompetitive as this um, on YouTube, you know, putting the games on YouTube. Uh, but you know, look at the state of of the meta game; it's really not pretty at the moment. So you know, feel free to use this team if you want to. It's uh, you know, have it on me if you want. Galvantula, ooh, that's not very good. Um, that is one way that this team can get ruined, really, if Gengar gets paralysed. I did not anticipate Galvantula to have a Thunder Wave. So, I'm going to protect here. And I'm actually just going to go for a Gravity again because I'm hoping that his Kyogre is just going to knock my Landorus out. Which it does. If it hits, yeah, it does. Uh, now I can bring Whimsicott in. 
and hmm, again he might even protect with his uh, with his Kyogre. So out of all the things that can, you know, <laughs> yeah, and he does, yeah. Out of all the things that can, is he gonna thunder wave? He is, yeah. That can be an issue for this team. It's really odd, st you know, odd little things like this. Uh, as long as I don't get paralyzed here, Kyogre should be getting encored and going to sleep. But um, you know, that 25% chance always likes to rear its ugly head at the wrong time, doesn't it? Okay, at least both of them actually got to move there, which is quite nice. Um, and that means I can just hope again if they uh, both break through the through the paralysis, I can knock this Kyogre out. Which they do. And wow, okay. So not quite knocking the Kyogre out. Uh, I'm used to um, minus two hexing sleeping Groudons, which does one shot all the time. Kyogre is obviously a lot more bulky on the special side, so um, so not, not quite a, uh, a definite knockout. But I'm actually going to go for a double target here onto this Galvantula. Um, because it could be focus sashed. And I want to knock it out, basically. Um, again, I'm just going to encore the Kyogre, hoping that I don't get fully paralyzed. And, ooh, very nice. Gastro Acid. So my Whimsicott has not got Prankster anymore. Um... This is a pretty interesting team. Gastro Acid Galvantula. Galvantula's speed is like, I don't know, 91 or something, isn't it? Like, I'm just wondering how um, how viable it is. Um, that's how you spell it, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, no, it's 108. Wow. Um, it's faster than I was expecting. Yeah, that's pretty interesting then, that they can, um, you know, outspeed and. Um, you know, gastro acid, these uh, mega abilities and stuff. So uh, yeah, I'm uh, I'm impressed with that one. I have to say. Um, so I'm going to protect with Gengar. Xerneas is looking pretty nice here. Um, so I'm just going to. Uh, well, I'm expecting Whimsicott to go down here. Oh, well, hoping that he gets um, that he double targets. Um, you know, two spread moves or whatever. I'm hoping Whimsicott goes down. Uh, if not, then at least I'm moon blasting this. Yeah, I'm hoping he does knock the whimsical out here. Oh no, he's going for a calm mind. Interesting. Um, <laughs> and that's how Whimsicott beats a uh, a mega Rayquaza, and he's got Dragonite now. Wow. So yeah, I'm glad that I did bring Xerneas in the back. Uh, really glad on that one. Um, calm mind. Interesting. Very interesting. Um, so I'm just gonna sludge bomb the Dragonite and. Um, go for a uh, yeah, just whatever, just whatever I can do to try and break the multi-scale on this Dragonite. But both of my Pokemon probably are no. I was going to say probably are going to get knocked out this turn. Um, but he tries to set up even more, um, and for some reason he goes for his own Earthquake, which brings his Kyogre definitely into Dazzling Gleam range. So um, very interesting game. <laughs> Not really sure how I'm going to lose this now, unless the Dragonite is super, super, super bulky. Xerneas will outspeed both of these Pokemon. No, it won't, because <laughs> of the sticky web. Um, wow. <laughs> Galvantula, the way forward, obviously. Um, but there's not really anything that I can do, is there? There's no way that I can play this safer. Um, yeah, there's no way that I can play this safer, really. So... Let's just hope that Xerneas survives this turn. Oh, okay. So, even at minus one speed, the Xerneas is still faster than his uh, Kyogre. So, phew! That was, uh, that's an interesting game. Um, yeah, Galvantula. Definitely Galvantula. Interesting. Okay, we've got um, Palkia. Palkia was um, part of... Um, uh, the last video that I did saying how, um, you know, it is one of these faster, more restricted Pokemon, base 100, actually um, can get the, uh, you know, the, the jump on a lot of the other ones and potentially knock them out with a life orb or a specs earth power or um, special rend or whatever. So, very interesting there, but um, we're going to go the Sableye route this turn, this time, and definitely Whimsicott. And I'm going to say definitely Groudon as well. Yeah. 
Yeah, okay, so I'm not too worried about the mobile here. I'm gonna go for a gravity and a hypnosis on to the Groudon. Um, I'm hoping that he lets me put his Groudon to sleep. Um, or if he protects it, I don't mind, as long as he does knock out my Sableye. I was thinking about using like a level 1 Sableye, um, just so that I can basically get it, you know, get the gravity up and get it knocked out as soon as possible. But like a scrappy fake out from Kangaskhan would just knock it out as well. So, um, not too sure about that. The way he's brought Palkia in makes me think it might even be a uh, Scarfed, but. Let's go off Draco Meteor, I don't think we'll knock Gengar out. So let's just try and put it to sleep. No, it's not Scarfed. It's not Lumberry either. Groudon does stay sleeping too. Um, so now we can get our fake tears Hex onto this Groudon, which will definitely knock it out. Um, and um, again, playing the odds because Groudon's been asleep longer. Uh, if Groudon wakes up and goes for a Protect, then I've obviously got it trapped in with Mega Gengar and I can go for an Encore. Palkia stays asleep again. So, and now gravity is up. See, this is this is how the team works. Like, we've we've had, like, the last game was pretty sticky, actually. Uh, <laughs> sticky web, haha. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but, um, sometimes, you know, a few amount of times, actually, it does just plow through teams. Um, this Terrakion could have a Focus Sash. So I'm actually going to go for a Moon Blast and a Sludge Bomb onto it. Yeah, we should knock it out. Yeah, it does do. Hex would have done more damage there, actually, but, um, you know, got a knockout. I uh, only needed that bit of chip damage, really, just for the uh, the uh, the Moon Blast to knock it out. Um, I suppose I'm getting a little bit fortunate here because Palkia could be going for a Trick Room um, because he has got his Mobile here, but I don't know how common, like, Mental Herb Palkia is because it is trapped in. I could go for an Encore as well, so, um, again, I'm not... I'm not overly worried. Um, I'm, mm, how shall I play this? Do I want to go for... I mean, I'm going to go for Hypnosis onto the Mobile, but do I want to try and Fake Tears the Palkia for the future, or just Moon Blast it? I think I'll Fake Tears it once. Um, this Palkia, seeing as it is not Scarfed, um, it might have a Life Orb or, or a Choice Specs, and in, in that case, will knock out my Gengar. If it goes for a move a bit more powerful than than a hydro pump, um, um, but Mobile is it going to wake up? Let's just go for effect tears again. Put it down at minus four and sludge bomb onto the Palkia. If his Mobile wakes up and goes for a sucker punch onto my Gengar, which it hasn't done, um, but it does go for an Iron Head onto the Whimsicott, then um, that could have been a little bit problematic, but. Um, I can just encore, thanks to the focus stash now, I can just encore the Palkia and really just bring Groudon in. Don't see any reason why not to. And yeah, he did Sucker Punch the Gengar there. And now I can basically just encore the Mobile into Sucker Punch and start setting up. And then I can just one-shot everything, just for the hell of it, really. So yeah, so that's the end of that one. Um, let's look for another game. We are 13 minutes in, so... Let's see how this one goes. So yeah, I mean, it's I hope, I'm hoping that this team is pretty fun to watch. <laughs> uh, oh, we've got another another um, like that team is exactly the same as this one, apart from he's got a Kangaskhan and I've got a Landorus. Uh, I wonder if he is playing with gravity though. Interesting, interesting. Nice to see that I'm sort of influencing the uh, um, <laughs> the um, the the stock of. Um, Pokemon Showdown. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not really too sure what to do here, to be honest. I think I'm going to go with Sableye and Gengar, and I want Whimsicott, and I want Groudon, I guess. So, this could be an ugly mirror. He goes with Whimsicott there. Now, he's probably going to protect Gengar and go for a Tailwind, I would imagine. So, I'm going to go for a Gravity and a Hypnosis onto the Whimsicott, hoping that he's going to play it safe and protect his Gengar, which he does. Is he going to go for a Tailwind? No, he doesn't, but even better for me, he goes for the Taunt on my Sableye. So his Whimsicott has got a guaranteed sleep turn now. Um, we are speed tying, but I've got Quash, so Quash and a Hex. Unless it's a really bulky Mega Gengar, should knock this out. Um, I could withdraw Sableye for Whimsicott here and... 
um, try and play with speed ties, but I don't really want to do that. Um, yeah, the hex does knock the Gengar out. So, yeah. Whew. Um. Hmm. Now, I kind of, like, this room's got can wake up, and if it wakes up, goes for the taunt on my Gengar, then the game is over for me. So I'm actually just going to taunt the Wimsicott here and protect the Gengar, just in case he does do that. Um, doesn't look like he is, though. I was hoping he would knock the Sableye out there. I was hoping for an eruption, but unfortunately he doesn't. Um, but this does mean I can bring Wimsicott in, go for the Hypnosis onto the Groudon. Um, Wimsicott is taunted, can't really do too much, really. It's either going to struggle or go for like a Moonblast or a Grass Knot or something. Yeah, it's struggling. So that's brilliant. Um, I know I've got... Um, one turn of gravity left, so I might want to try and use that to put the Whimsicott to sleep here, but I'm not going to mess around with this Groudon. I am just going to knock it out. Yeah. Yeah, Whimsicott's not a threat for me. I can just sludge bomb it next turn. And I think it's forfeited. Yeah, he has done. So, thank you very much again for watching this, guys. I hope you've enjoyed my, my tricky gravity team here. Um, please like and share the video. Um, get everyone using this team. Let's pollute the VGC metagame with gravity. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching, and goodbye for now.